And the masters of the universe! Hey hey, welcome to Saturday Shorties! We're back to He-Man today as we take a look at another Origins figure. So meet Spycor. This figure was released in 2023 with some original body parts. Yeah, parts of the arms and legs are obvious reuses. And this guy sure lives up to his name. That's Spikey. Okay, you can say that about most Masters of the Universe figures. Their names have never been paragons of subtlety. Hi, Snout Spout. But for some reason, it really hits me with Spikor here. I mean, you wouldn't want to accept free hugs from the guy. It's like if H.R. Geiger had invented Sonic the Hedgehog. I'm making fun, but I really like the look of this figure. It's a perfect combination of goofy and menacing. When it comes to detailing, well, spikes. Spikes all over. Spikes for days. Head spikes, chest spikes, back spikes. He's even got a spiked color, because at this point, why not? The funny thing is, they don't even feel uncomfortable when holding him. Feels kinda nice, actually. I do have to admit the spikes are the only special thing about him, the rest is just standard He-Man detailing. Well, with the exception of his left hand, as it's a trident. It's meant to look spiky too, but really doesn't, as the ends are balls. Which is a weird choice, considering the rest of him. Maybe it's a child safety thing, but they could have just given him dull spikes. Also, tridents are more associated with sea monsters, so I don't know what's up with that. Articulation is standard for an origin sea man figure, so I don't need to go into that. I do really like the color scheme, which is mostly purple. It's also why I don't understand the color they chose for his weapon, which is, what else, a spiked club? And it is very, very orange. That really should have been purple too. He has one more weapon. A slightly longer trident hand? Huh? Oh, okay, I do actually know what's up with that. You see, the original spike or toy from the 80s had a gimmick. Apart from the spikes, I mean. His hand could shoot out to spike his enemies. Instead of copying that mechanism, they just gave the Origins version two different tridents. Which is kinda stupid. Okay, no, it's really stupid. But I guess they either needed to save some money, or were afraid they'd lose the elbow articulation if they went and implemented that. To sum up, I really like this figure. It's got a great look with just the right amount of weirdness. The two flaws, namely the orange club and the extra trident, I can just ignore. Like literally, as I can put them in a bag, throw them away, and forget they ever existed. Well, I'll see you next time, everybody, and hey, why not like, share, and subscribe, if that's your thing. Also, Merry Christmas, everybody! And the Masters of the Universe!